Alright, let's see what Frank is doing over here. Um, this is the hydroponics that he's been working on the last couple of months. <laughs> and um, it's just um, trial and error right now because there's a lot of little different things that need to be done with the growing of the vegetables and everything like that. Um, last week the pump went out and, and the stuff was drying out so we had to put it in the garden bed. You see there's some uh, vegetables and stuff still in here and since the pump went out we did have to put some of the stuff in the garden because it was drying out. And um, there is some basil in here and some tomatoes. I can see some tomatoes and basil and green beans. And there's some peppers. There's some peppers right there. You can see the water is running now, right now, through the all of these pipes. I think Frank thinks there's going to be a big tomato going to grow there pretty soon. Anyway, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven beds on this side, and there's nothing in these ones right here because I think he had to pull them out and put them in the garden, which we'll show you later. And um, over here, I'll have to go this way. I'm gonna have to go this way, like this. Hi. It's a work in progress. Is this your wood pile? Hey, don't show people my work pile. <laughs> wood pile. Okay, oh, look at this. Over here is where the fish are. There's fish in there. You probably can't see them. <laughs> and they are in there. And that is how the fruits and vegetables get their nourishment is from the fish poo-poo. That's a big tomato plant in there. And under here is the pump. That's the pump. That's what it looks like. Pumps the water through into the aquaponics deal to make the water come in. Here's some more vegetables. Looks like some greens are coming up. Okay. Alrighty then. What happened now? Well, the big pump went out uh, prematurely, and uh, so I replaced it and with a different pump. And this new pump won't pump both sides, oh. so I have to shut this one down and put the plants in these pots down here. Oh, I see. Doing real good. So what's happening is that. Um, learning how to have backups for when things fail and so that's good that it's happening quick in the beginning so that I can design the system to have the right kind of backups so that if anything fails it won't be uh, fatal to the whole system. Okay well it looks like you have a pepper plants. Yep. Okay then we'll signing off. Thank you Frank. You're Bye. This is the uh, progress of the aquaponic. Uh, we started in March. It, took, uh, it, it ended up being a little too early. The water temperatures were not uh, warm enough, so it took it six whole weeks to cycle. In the meantime, the plants were stunted and weren't doing anything. Uh, it cycled by, well, that was, it started the middle of March, so it took six weeks. It started cycling uh, beginning of May, end of April, beginning of May. So this is middle of June, so this is six weeks after cycling. As you can see, the tomato plants have shot up pretty good. There's tomatoes all over the place coming out. Um, you can see the pepper plants have peppers on them. Those are jalapenos. And here's more peppers here, jalapenos coming all over the place, more tomatoes. Here's some ripe tomatoes, middle of June, early tomatoes. 
these were all put in here recently, so this is a totally separate uh, thing. This is the sides connected. So there's some seeds, some beans I put in here. I found out the trick to heck getting these, like those uh, cantaloupe seeds, was to uh, put them slightly below the rocks so the sun was is not just beating on them all day. And it, they seem to do better, as you can see, these are sprouting here. Here in these the cantaloupes are doing a little better. Now, I put some cucumbers in here, but I don't see anything. They might take just a couple extra days. I'll see them come up. Can you see them? shot up. Uh, I do add this, I have to add this diatom, diatomaceous earth. It's got a bunch of minerals in it. It helps the plants not yellow out. Uh, it has a bonus, the ants don't like it. The plants start yellowing out, I, I go ahead and put some, some of this diatom in there. I noticed these basils were, were starting to yellow out. They were nice and green. Now a lot of these basils are still green. You see that's really quite green there. These here start yelling at this one. Now there's some kind of a bug issue here. This is new. I hadn't noticed this before. There's something's eating these peppers. I don't know what it is. But they're still flowering and breeding. All right, well, <coughs> you can get a nice shot from here. And uh, I tell you, when this thing wasn't cycling, you were just pulling your hair out, you know, because you wanted your stuff to grow from the spring garden. Now that it's finally gone through it, you can see it's grown up. It's, uh, it's company to know that it works. <laughs> first, first time aquaponic. You know. All right, did you get a good shot from here? Alright, hopefully within six weeks this side will be all grown up like that.